I broke my mic clip, by the way. Today on Poor Choices, we are going back to 1997 when the R&B group Next released Butter Love, which a lot of people think is about the perfect woman, but it's not. It's actually about today's Poor Choice, a half pound burger stuffed with a compound butter, grilled to perfection. It's as simple as that. It's juicy, it's filling, and I like it all. Doesn't sound like that at karaoke. Starting out, we need to make a compound butter. This is going to be going inside our burgers, but they can also go on the top of steaks and pastas, limitless options. And these are easy to make. Just start out with two sticks of butter, allowing them to set out at room temperature for a few hours will help out here because we want to get them nice and softened. And this is unsalted butter, of course. I always use unsalted butter so I can control the salt levels later. Once you start adding things like bacon or Parmesan or other salty things to dishes, it can all add up. So being able to control it at different levels helps balance things out so you don't just bite into it and just get a crazy saltiness. I've got a bunch of chives here that I'll dice up finely. I've got about a tablespoon's worth. I've also got a teaspoon or so of fresh thyme leaves that I diced up. And I've also got about a teaspoon of fresh rosemary that I'll also dice up. I like using these poultry herb packets because they come with just enough of the herbs I need for a recipe like this without me feeling like I'm wasting anything. Next to this, we'll add in about six cloves of garlic that I ran through my garlic press. And if you didn't know, you don't have to take the garlic out of the paper when using a garlic press. Just pop it in whole and it'll squeeze all that garlicky goodness right on out. Last thing we'll add is about a teaspoon of steak seasoning. I'm using the Killer Hog steak seasoning here, but you can use any that you like, like a Montreal steak seasoning. This seasoning will bring the salt that we need along with a lot of other good flavors like Worcestershire sauce powder. Uh, that was hard to say. Sugar sugar, garlic, onion, pepper, etc. Give that a good mixing and then take a sheet of plastic wrap, place your butter mixture in it and then roll it up into a log so that when we pop this into the fridge to become solid again, it'll form into the shape of a log that we can easily cut off pats off of it as we need it. I'd say give this about a good 30 minutes or so in the fridge and it should be nice and firm. This butter will last a good while so don't worry if you have tons left over. Next up is our burger meat. These burgers need to be big to fit our butter inside. So I'm taking two pounds of ground beef and forming four patties out of them. That's right, half pound burgers. And it's okay if this burger meat is on the leaner side since this butter is gonna go inside and give us plenty of fat and plenty of flavor. So form the patties into balls, pop a good pat of that compound butter on top and then form the patties around the butter, trying to keep it all contained inside. And we don't wanna to work too slow here because we definitely don't want that butter to start melting. Then work the burgers out until they are patty shaped and are slightly bigger than your bun. Burgers are gonna shrink a little as they cook, so using a bun as a reference point will help you know the size that you need. Once all four patties are formed, we're going to sprinkle just a little more Killer Hog steak seasoning on them, both sides, and then we'll pop these into the fridge to firm up for about 15 minutes or as long as it takes to get the grill fired up. Also, that time is perfect to drink our poor choice, my favorite from a past episode, the Wider's Pear Cider, which is great for summer cooking. It's got an amazing sweetness to it, but not overpowering, and and you can drink a bunch of these as you cook. Uh, and it'll get you nice and uh, what's what we're looking for? Tipsy, yes, that's it. As for the grill, I'm using my Kamado Joe today. It's a charcoal grill. I've got it set up for direct heat right over the coals and I'm running it at around 450 degrees. With any grill, you wanna burp it by slightly opening the lid so that any big whooshes of heat and smoke can escape without it smacking you in the face. Then we place our patties on and we close that lid. If you're looking, you're not cooking and letting all that oxygen in is really just gonna make it harder for us to control our fire. After a few minutes, I wanna check if our burgers are releasing from the grill grate easily. If not, let it cook a little bit longer. Once it does release, give it a good flip and let that burger sit for another few minutes. And this is where you cook it to your liking. I want it medium, so I probed it till it read 140, and then I popped on the cheese of my choice, which was some American cheese that I still had left over. As far as the cheese, if you want to do cheddar, pepper jack, whatever you want, it is your burger at this point. Let that cheese begin to melt, and don't fret if you get a few flare-ups from the leaking butter. That charge is going to add a little bit more flavor. But once my cheese melted, I did pop my burgers off because I don't want to cook them past medium. And I did toast some brioche buns while I had the grill going, and that's it. Build your burger. I use some Thousand Island as my burger sauce for the recipe. If you want a good burger sauce, check out the one I made for my Smash Burger Tacos video. Those were really, really good. Top with some lettuce, tomato. If you want to put some bacon on there, you can. Whatever you want, though, pickles, who knows? But just be ready to eat one of the best tasting burgers that you'll ever have. It was so filling and extremely juicy. Of course, with a half pound of meat and butter stuffed inside, it doesn't surprise me that it was that good. Hey, this is Poor Choices Kitchen. We have a Patreon, which is linked down in the description. One dollar a month is all we ask for. Helps us pay for these recipes and these here inflated times. I also appreciate the shares and the views. Honestly, everything counts towards greatness. So until next time, enjoy these burgers and I will see you soon.